Are you ready for the Battle of the Browns? We're going to be pitting mocha against mocha, chocolate against chocolate, brown against brown. We're battling six different fall brown balloon colors from five different brands to find the perfect fall brown. Gemma or Tuftex, Qualitex, Dicomex, Calizan. Who has got the best brown? Let's find out. Hey friends, welcome back to Bubbly Balloon Co. My name is Rachel and I'm gonna be your guide to finding the perfect brown balloon for fall. At least one of these six colors because that's all I could get my hands on this year because the stock situation is a real thing. You feel me? Okay. In front of me today are six different shades of brown balloons from five different brands. I'm gonna be unpacking each of them, inflating them, and letting you help me decide which brown is best for fall. So first we have Cocoa from Tuftex, we have Chocolate Brown from Calisan, Chocolate Brown from Qualitex, we have Brown from Jamar, we have Mocha from Jamar, and we have Mocha from Dacomax. Now as far as I know, Qualitex is really the top of the top as far as quality, as far as I've heard, Tuftex, Calisan, and Jamar are all a pretty close second. Dacomax is a more inexpensive brand who I found have some really good colors, I've used them before. Um, so I'm very interested to see how these different browns stack and how the quality of the balloon pits against one another. Let me get them out. The one day I don't wear my apron. So I should mention that each of these are in either 11 or 12 inches, whichever size the brand makes, except for Tacomex, where the largest I could get was a nine inch balloon. So this is what they look like uninflated. Okay, now I'm going to show you first the two mochas. So this is the mocha from Jamar and this is the mocha from Tacomex. Okay, so uninflated. This is what they look like. Chocolate versus chocolate. This is the chocolate from Calisan and the chocolate from Qualitex. Uninflated, that's what they look like. Okay, this is brown from Jamar and this is cocoa from Tuftex. Uninflated, this is what they look like. All right, let's do the battle of the mochas. This is the nine inch mocha from Dacomex. It's a fairly thin balloon. Um, it does have a pretty noticeable spot at the top the color is a little bit inconsistent throughout the latex but overall if this is you know if anyone's viewing it from five six feet away it's gonna look fantastic now let's do jamar so again on the jamar i'm seeing a super noticeable spot on the top some a little bit of like, streaking and consistent color throughout and then there's a little spot here where there's basically no color this stuff is super common in balloons. I mean, there's no balloon manufacturer I've ever seen who puts on a perfect balloon every time. Qualitex is pretty much top of the top. And even they have, you know, issues sometimes with some of their balloons, you know, you get inconsistencies, deformities, whatever. It's very common. You're working with latex, like, you know what I mean? It's not gonna be perfect every time. But I do always try to show you guys what I'm seeing and tell you what I'm seeing. So if you end up using something I talk about, you're not surprised when you get it. But again, this is very common. So let's compare mocha to mocha. Obviously, the color is slightly different between them. The Dacomex mocha is a little more like probably honey, caramel. It's got a little more orange tinge to it. Whereas the Jamar, it's a little more of a true brown. It does still have those warm golden undertones, but um, in the Dacomex one, they're much more defined. Honestly, these are both great colors for fall, but I'm kind of obsessing over this Jamar mocha at the moment. So let's keep inflating and see what else we find. Next, let's bottle the chocolates. So we have Calisan's chocolate brown and we have Qualitex's chocolate brown. Here we go. This is so rich. This is the Calisan chocolate brown. So creamy. You guys, I... Let's see how the Qualitex performs, but this is a beautiful balloon. Super thick. It feels premium. There's no discoloration. I don't even see it really a spot at the top. I mean, it's almost not noticeable. Um, this might be giving Qualitex a run for its money. Let's try the Qualitex chocolate brown. Oh my gosh. These are gorgeous, you guys. <gasps> I can't believe I'm gonna say this. There's more streaking in the Qualitex balloon than in this Calisan. This is basically the first time I've used Calisan balloons. I used a couple of them in my balloon bouquet for my husband's birthday, but it was, you know, a chrome shade and I used about four of them. So I didn't really get to experience them yet. This is the first, like, color I've used from them. And honestly, there's more streaking in the Qualitex balloon than in the Calisan. Like, this might actually be a contender for the top spot. 
holy smokes these colors though so rich this one is so creamy oh man the qualitex is like tried and true this for me almost reminds me of like a teddy bear brown or like even like a tree trunk like it's a really good natural dark dark brown whereas this is like creamy yummy like this is really a chocolate brown i'm impressed you're not gonna go wrong with either of these but i know which one i'm leaning towards right now okay we're down to our last two colors in this brown bottle i have coco from tough decks and in the other corner brown from jamar so coco could we call that a chocolate brown i'll let you decide that is some coco the trifecta i feel like we got a little hershey's girardelli william dean situation going on here or maybe the american venezuelan colombian chocolate trio and our last brown this is just brown from jar respectable so again, this is Coco from Tough Dex. This is Brown from Jamar. I think I tend to use Tough Dex more than other brands. So to me, this feels familiar. It feels comfortable. It feels right. Just the quality of the balloon, the consistency, the thickness. Um, it's just what I'm used to. It's very easy to press and make round and bubbly. There's not a whole lot of, um, you know, the colored dot or the nipple at the top here. Uh, it looks pretty good. There's not a lot of discoloration throughout. It feels just like a high quality balloon. And to me, it's just what I'm used to. So I go, oh yeah, that feels nice. And then on the Jamar, this one also looks really good on top. I don't really see any spots there. There's minimal discoloration coloration throughout they're both pretty thick like slightly transparent from each of them you could double stuff definitely if you wanted to play with it make it a little more full thick rich but you don't really need to these are both pretty high quality balloons so we've got all six browns out now I feel like each of them would be good for something different like this Qualitex brown is such a good rich yummy like foresty kind of brown this to me screams a winter like i don't know it reminds me of like a fir tree like that with tough decks evergreen i feel like would make just the most beautiful like palette for some forest fairy tale inspired something or other this decalmax mocha almost reminds me of like hot apple cider or like a psl like definitely has the fall vibes but that golden honey pumpkin-y I want to put either of these mochas, I want to put them with burnt orange from Tough Ducks and just mm, yummy, you know? Over here on this side of the ball game, so Tough Ducks Coco and Jamar Brown, they're each their own vibe. I don't particularly get fall vibes from either of them. They're very solid choices for a brown, but I don't, they don't scream fall to me. You know what does? Calisans Brown and Jamar's Mocha. Those are the two that for me go, mm, yes, fall is here. Let's put on some delicious smelling candles and light the fire and read a book. I don't know, what do you do in fall, guys? This is my first fall, but that's what I think, you know? More importantly, I wanna know what you think. Which of these six colors is gonna be your perfect brown for this fall? I wanna know what you're in love with. I wanna know what you're gonna pair it with. I wanna know what fall creations you've got up your sleeves and if there's any that you wanna see from me. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I love having you here. I will see you in the next video. Uninflated, this is what they look <laughs> You know, this is the first time I've ever inflated a balloon from Jamar before. That was fun.